Hey everybody and welcome to my bathroom. I can't see you very well at the moment because I am wearing no contact lenses. Normally I wear glasses or prescription lenses. I can't see a fucking thing right now because a few weeks ago I got a new pair of sclera lenses and I haven't tried them out yet. These are them here. They're from the brand Fantasy which is a very safe brand. You find this brand sold in pharmacies. Oftentimes when you find coloured contact lenses for sale in pharmacies, it's this brand Fantasy. I got them from Unique So, which is where I get pretty much all my contact lenses from. Do you remember last time I tried to put in Sclera lenses, those red ones? And you might wonder why you haven't seen me wearing them since. Well, sad story actually. Unfortunately they didn't come in a case like this, they just came in like a normal contact lens case. Which was okay, like they fit in there and stuff but there was a lot less fluid inside. When I moved house, my contact lenses got kind of neglected and a lot of them dried out. If you have colored contact lenses, you do actually have to look after them. Like, you, you can't just put them in a cupboard or into a box and they'll stay fine until the next time you wear them. You should replace the fluid once a month, which I did not do. So they dried out, shriveled up and died a horrible, sad death. And I'm so miffed because those looked fucking cool. So anyway, I've got a new pair here. These are called Shadow Cat. And I wanted them for so long because they look like such cool like demon lenses. You'll see if I'm successful in getting them in. Now I wear colored contact lenses or just normal clear contact lenses all the time, like pretty much every single day. But I have not practiced putting in clear lenses since the last time I made a video about it. So I'm a little bit nervous. But I really wanted to give you guys who might be interested in trying clear lenses kind of like a good idea of how like not easy it is the first couple of times. I feel like every time I look at a tutorial for putting in clear lenses, they're just like, oh, you know, you just, just like that, easy. It is not easy, okay? Some people might have no trouble with it the first time, but I think, especially if you're not someone who wears contact lenses all the time, you might struggle with it. So today I thought it might be fun if you could join me poking myself in the eye repeatedly so that I can insert these lenses here into my eyeballs. This is the kind of case that clear lenses should be stored in. They can be stored in a normal contact lens case, but because they're larger, uh, it's better to have something like this. It's a lot less complicated than it looks. Okay. Shall we then? I'm going to do this without makeup on because last time I just, my eyes watered a lot and completely destroyed my eye makeup. Also, it's just a good hygiene practice to put your makeup on after inserting contact lenses. Just to prevent bits of makeup getting stuck under the contact lenses. I mean, if you're careful, that won't happen, but it's just a good hygiene thing. I'm sorry that I have to start this without makeup. I really truly am. Maybe a bit of powder because my skin is so minging right now. I will link below to where I got these lenses. I do trust Unique So, by the way. I trust them to sell good quality lenses and I know that Fantasy is a good brand. They're not asking me to say that or something, that's just my opinion and my experience. So anyway, let's negotiate these bad boys into my eyeball. Alright, sounded worse than it was. Off to a good start. I think I'm gonna try by rolling my eye like all the way down and pulling the bottom lid down. Ah, it's in! It's in! It feels awful! Oh, it feels so horrible! It feels really bad! It feels really bad! It feels really bad! I don't think there's any fluff or something in there as well. Oh, it just feels like there's something really fucking annoying in my eye that wants to come out. All the people who are, who are like, oh, you know, just treat it like that, no worries. Okay, I guess that must take quite a bit of practice because that does, that does not feel nice. I'm gonna try again with the other one. I moved the camera because the lighting was really pissing me off. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, what the fuck? It's on, but it's not sitting flat on my eyeball. There's like a uh, wrinkle in it. Don't be a wrinkle. Be smooth. Oh, it feels bloody awful. I mean, I think the other one felt more awful. <laughs> Maybe if I put some fluid in. Maybe that will make no difference. Maybe it'll make it worse. <laughs> it looks awesome. It feels really 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 terrible maybe it just takes a bit of getting used to 
I decided to take it out just because it's kind of hurting. I feel like it shouldn't hurt. I guess it's okay for it to feel like uncomfortable, that's normal, but I don't want it to actually hurt. So I'm just gonna give my eyeballs a break for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have another go with the left eye. If this isn't fucking masochism, man, I don't know what is. I just, I really want to fucking wear, I really want to wear sclera lenses. I really want to. They look so amazing. Lots of people wear them without any trouble. I got used to normal contact lenses. I can get used to these as well. Can't I? Yes. I can do anything. Yeah. Let's talk to continue. <sighs> Ooh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got that one in. Oh, oh, it feels horrible. Slightly less horrible than before, but still quite horrible. My inclination is to like blink and close my eyes because my eye knows that there's something in it and it wants to wash it out, I guess. So I'm gonna leave it there, see if it becomes more comfortable, and try again with the right one. The things we do for vanity. I guess there are different techniques for doing this and everybody's going to find that like there's a technique that suits them best, blah blah blah. Come on you fuck. Keeps like touching my eyelashes and sticking to my eyelashes. Oh, oh shit, what? <laughs> Last time I made an order with Unique Sew, they also sent me these blink and clean drops. Which are supposed to keep your eyes hydrated while wearing your lenses. Uh, I haven't tried them before, but maybe... Oh god, look at that, it's like tilting. Stay still. Tilt, goodness me. Bit extra moisture couldn't hurt. Ah, feels so fucking horrible. Foreign and weird and uncomfortable, and I really just feel like there are things in both my eyes that shouldn't be there that are giant, because that is exactly <laughs> what is happening. They look so scary. God, they look so weird. I really feel like I don't look human. Uh, even doing that just now, it got kind of easier with each attempt. So, God, sorry, there's so much traffic outside and I keep sniffing and it's really gross, but it's because my eyes are watering so much. With every attempt, it did kind of get easier. So, obviously, you know, with practice, I feel like it would eventually be no problem at all just to get them in, pop them out. They're, they're very easy to remove, which is nice. So, they're actually quite a lot easier to remove than small contact lenses. They don't feel comfortable yet. But like also some small contact lenses don't feel comfortable when you put them in. They feel like weird little bits of plastic in your eyes. So I'm gonna go put some makeup on. Thank God, you're all saying. Maybe by the time I've got makeup on, my eyes will have gotten kind of used to them. I think it's a good idea to, you know, let your eyes get used to them before wearing them to events or something so that you're not like super uncomfortable the entire time. <laughs> okay, now that I've got some makeup on, here are my thoughts. I think these look Fucking amazing! Hang on. They look so cool, right? They look so scary and striking, like, oh, what? <laughs> really like inhuman and evil. But my final thoughts on these particular lenses are that they're probably not good for festivals or events just because they rotate. Like, as I'm, while I was putting my makeup on, they're just slowly like rotating. When they go sideways, I look kind of hilariously goat-like. <laughs> but I think they'd be good for photo shoots. So I'm gonna say that these would be really great for photo. You can see they're sort of turning like right now as I'm talking to you. I think they'd make for an amazing photo shoot, these particular lenses. <sighs> Maybe not for like an event, because you'd have to keep sort of checking in the mirror to make sure that your eyes weren't wonky. Also, while I was putting my makeup on, they did start to get more comfortable. They don't feel that uncomfortable now. Like, I can feel them there. I know that they're there, obviously. I, I can feel them in there. But it's nothing like after I first put them in, which was like basically unbearable. I'm like, what is this kind of torture? It was just like, ah, ah, ah. weird nerves. My whole body felt uncomfortable. Once they were in, I left them in for a bit. They, they feel okay now. I feel like I could confidently maybe go out to the shop or something and terrify some people. Maybe I will do that. This is so weird. It's like, as I'm talking to you, they're just like, whoop. <laughs> so I feel like in the future when I get sclera lenses, because I will definitely get more, because I just think they're so incredibly badass, I'd get like round patterned ones or like solid colored ones or something so that if they rotate, it won't, it won't matter, it won't look funny or something. Let me know what you think. Would you try these? 
any sort of suggestions about when I could wear them. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and enduring my suffering with me. I feel like it was kind of worth it and yeah, I feel like with Claire lenses, it's just a matter of practice makes perfect. So if you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. I make at least two videos every week. And yeah, expect to see plenty of spooky photos in the future with these lenses. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye!